He used to come into the office. That was where the accounts for his yard was held. He used to come in every Friday, which is when I'd be working after I finished college. And I just ended up chatting to him. He seemed to always want to make his payments to me. That might just be my imagination, by the way. And over the course of a few months, the conversation started getting more and more flirty. And I like it. I do. It's like he's flirting without making me feel uncomfortable or unhappy or... So I ask him out. <laughs> yeah, me. I think he's a little taken aback. I mean, I'm just a sixth former at college. But he does say yes. We go to the cinema. He buys the tickets. And I paid for the fish and chips on the way home. And I kissed him for the first time. And on the fifth date, we had sex. It was my first time, I mean, 17. Then I fell pregnant. I don't know what to do. I ignore his calls for four days. Then on the fifth day, I go around and I tell him. And he cries. He's on this little bed with this little duvet and he's crying. And I wipe his eyes and we talk. And what he decides is that because of my A-levels and because of his work that we, I should have an abortion. And I agree. So I go home and then two weeks later he comes over and he says he's been thinking that he doesn't think I should have the abortion and what he thinks is that he should ask me to marry him. And I agree. So he does. And I say yes. And we do. And I was always going to go back to college after Christopher. He doesn't know that I smoke. He'd be killed me if he found out. He goes to Christopher's grave all the time. He doesn't know that I know.